that you natural Lady D. I ain't looking tacky like, I keep my game tacky Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy I'm all big Cause that be natural The infamous I ain't looking tacky Cause I keep my game tacky I'm so pretty I'm so fat boo I'm so nappy It's like a taboo I'm so filthy Got the tattoo Fucking these bitches Like I own rap boo All my business With my platoon Getting these minutes Like I'm a top boo Y'all just jerky On that cartoon And I'm still on top Guys and welcome back to our Fro's and Baby Hairs. Let's do lunch. So yeah, guys, we are eating some homemade rope. Lo mein. Lo mein, yeah. Lo mein, veggie style. So guys, if y'all want to eat lunch with us, then please keep on watching. Let's dig in. I think you did a pretty good job. Anyway. We're going to offer this up. Yeah, guys, like I was saying, we're going to be eating some veggie lo mein. We got some cucumbers on the side, you know, bathing in this uh, Italian dressing. And if y'all got some food, pull up and eat with us. So, yeah, guys, this is what it's looking like. Y'all better have some. Oh, yeah. We also have some mini made fruit punch. So how have y'all been doing? Hopefully all is well. Hopefully all is well. I'm trying to make it over here. Yep. Trying to keep it together. Somebody watch me. Try the cucumber. They good. This is a cucumber. Now I gotta try to eat cu cucumbers in this uh Italian with the lemon. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Man, give us your take on making the kids go back to school hmm. to the brick and mortar. I think uh, you found just how important that really was when you put them out of school or at home to finish up. <laughs> really just how important some things really are. And it's not that important to get the same education being at home or going to the brick and mortar. You don't have to go to the brick and mortar. It's not necessary. Apparently so. And they've told us and shown us that. Mm -hmm. Especially during this pandemic. They're supposed to be so deadly, so, yeah. You yeah. want us to social distance, wear a mask, stay in the house, but let the kids go back to school. The thing that gets me about the mask is it is not the same mask that was supposedly recommended by the CDC. Now it's just a face cover, but everybody has to have the mask. So what is it really doing when they've told you that it's not doing anything? Control. Mm -hmm. Seeing who will be in and who's not. But my thing is, if we are free and we have a choice, then why are you denying me the ability to come inside the store if I don't have on this face covering? That's not recommended by CDC as well. But at the same time, you have people of the Muslim religion and they can't wear their hijabis. 
Ain't that what they got? High jabs. Good job. It's a whole Thank big you. thing about them having their face covered now. Come on, our face covered. Interesting. Un momento. I'm going to get some sriracha and some soy sauce. Face covering recommended by the Center of Disease Control. Control, you know, one that controls diseases anyway. But what good is it actually doing? Uh, controlling it. It's not doing anything. They say the numbers are continuously rising. And with the rise, the first time they wanted to quarantine everybody. But with the rise the second time, to make sure that all the financial situations go according to plan for how they're supposed to be going. As far as getting finance to the schools and whatever for so many students being there, they're not going to send that finance to the to the homes of these students. They don't want to do that. So they want to continue to, to send them to that school. So regardless of what the rise is, I want that money or that finance. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about anything else. I want to continue to get the finance. So if it's a epidemic or not, I need the finance. So that's the most important thing, right? It's not actually the health of the citizens or individuals of the country. It has nothing to do with that. Lose the money. Mm -hmm. But also, what's the key word in the center for com for the disease bees. control? What's the key word in that? They control the disease when they spread it or eliminate it. Mm -hmm. One never thinks about that. What so to send them back to school is them controlling the disease. It would be considered lunacy, correct? to hit certain numbers. So they gotta control the outcome. Send them back to school. You told us to do social distance, but now you want these 30, 40 kids in one classroom together. What happened when little Tommy get a cold? Tommy give it to everybody else in the class? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what happened when Miss Smith get a cold? All her students catch it too. Yep. So, but still, bring them to class, bring them back to school. Is it about the education or is it about the school or the indoctrination? Why the kids gonna be before they get to the school? They're gonna be at the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Riding in the buses together. Mm -hmm. Riding to the school together. Mm -hmm. Single file lines together. Bathroom together. Lunch together. Come on now. Nothing changes that. <coughs> okay. That's a lot of good food. Kids are what? Touch your feeling. You know what I'm saying? Slow down. You gotta be all on it like that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. But yeah, that's what they do. They just wipe and keep on doing what they do. Mm -hmm. Especially the ones that's younger. They trying to play. And what kids you know gonna keep a mask on? 
Eight nothing. hours a day, every day. Please. Can't even make them keep their hat on all day. Gloves on all day. Some of them don't even keep their shirt on all day. <laughs> yeah. And then what about gym class? Still important. Hmm. Yeah, y'all. Let us know what y'all think about this whole thing. Y'all thoughts, opinions. And it's really taking my temperature. Doesn't let you know what I have or what I don't have. We're trying to shove something up your nose to the back of your brain or whatever. Or now they do it a little differently. You know, just kind of wiggle it around up in there. The nose and the throat is kind of connected, you know, together, right? What's the difference? Is, you know, just taking it through your mouth. I mean, I don't know, but they are interconnected. Mm -hmm. By the way, they tell you. They do all this, do all of that, but they never tell you to eat the foods that's going to help your immune system. Eat the foods that's going to help your immune system. You know, they get right, right around certain times of the year. They get right for a reason. Let thy food be thy medicine. Be thy medicine. Mm -hmm. And dead flesh ain't no medicine. Your food. Mama Earth is next. We all have one son. <laughs> she didn't say eat her other beans. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Leave comments down below. About uh, you know, sending your kids back to school or children back to school, period. Yeah, I guess we're gonna wrap it over here. <laughs> I am cool. But honestly, that's a good conversation. Of, uh, how do you actually want to protect your children? Do you opt in and let them go back to school where you can't control anything and they can't control anything? But you can control your kids at home, or your children at home, of what they come in contact, who they come in contact with. And then, like I said in a previous video, it's going to cause a domino effect. Mm -hmm. So if the kids or the children get sick at school, they gonna bring it home. Household members are going to get sick. Neighbors. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then at that point, you lose your money. Like I said before, it's a 27 million you went into foreclosure. People are becoming evicted because they're sick. They've been diagnosed, and so forth, and so forth, and so on. Mm -hmm. And a stimulus check that they call, that's just really to try and stimulate the economy, which goes into tax money virtually, so that, that they can get 
the money that you spent. You know? Yeah. So it goes right they want you not, out. Yeah. And about. It's not stimulus, you know? What do people do when they get money? They run out and spend it. Mm -hmm. They forget about it's a pandemic epidemic going on. <laughs> they need Jordans. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, y'all, we're going to get in here. <sighs> so thank y'all so much for joining us for lunch today. We really appreciate your time and energy. We hope to see you guys on the next move on. Peace and love. And as always, DJ, DJ Mike, Mike C. C on the track. track. Cause they're few natural Lady I ain't even techie Black. I keep my game tapped Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy and my bitch Cause they be natural The infamous I ain't looking techie Cause I keep my game tapped I'm, I'm so pretty, I'm so fat, boo I'm so natural, it's like a taboo I'm so filthy, got the tattoo Fuckin' these bitches like I own ragu On my business with my platoon Give me minutes like I'm a typhoon Y'all this jersey on that cartoon And I'm sitting on top of these buffoons I'm so nappy, I'm so nappy All these dudes that wanna get at me I'm so cultured and I'm happy Just as what you wanna come back me Cause I'm comfortable in my skin End of the day you lose, I win I'm so comfortable in my ends Don't care if I make or lose a few friends And I look like a trillion bucks Lady be one a lotto Cause in the Lord I trust And beauty is the motto Not you the dick in the butt I'm Billy Blanks on the top oh. It's just a little rough Just pretend I'm from Morocco Or get all up in my hair Cause I let my locks grow naturally My curls popping everywhere I'm maximizing on this natural thing Like it or not I don't care You clowns ain't about to worry me Cause I does this for myself And I'm rapping for my ancestry